Hi, this is Zach Lear from Master Investor. We'll look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Tuesday, the 5th of May. And I'm starting off with Ampion, where you can see that it looks as though uh, the shares are ready for a new leg to the upside. Uh, rebound off the floor of this uh, rising trend channel from January. Uh, support coming in notionally towards the 20-day moving average, 5.2 pence. Uh, that's also the stop loss area at the moment. Uh, looking for a retest of the mid-April 8 pence uh, resistance initially over the next couple of weeks. And then uh, maybe over the next month or two, a return to the uh, best levels of the year to date towards 10 pence in the top of this rising trend channel rsi 58 so that's also the indicator on uh, new move to the upside and really only back below the 50-day average 4.39 pence would be outright negative for amphin innovations at this stage uh bushville minerals is up next and um, here you can see how there's been a decent uh, weekly close above the 200-day moving average of 3.04 pence. The other level to look out for at the moment, the March 2.82 pence resistance. So that's the stop loss area and also the area to buy down towards on any dips or consolidation that we see for the shares in the near term. They are overbought um, with the RSI at 78, so that's uh, well above the 70 level. But uh, as long as we remain above that old March resistance, looking for a top of um, September rising trend channel as high as 4.5 pence uh, over the next uh, couple of months as a best case uh, scenario. CapEx is a situation which seems to be uh, quite intriguing at the moment. We were looking for a three point, sorry, we're looking for a four pence target, four pence plus target uh, midweek last week. Uh, Friday managed to get up to 3.95 pence and so nearly achieved what we were looking for there. Uh, view at the moment is that uh, should still see support coming in towards uh, the 200-day uh, moving average, uh, 2.74 pence, ideally not back below uh, the initial 3.4 pence um, uh, um, April uh, resistance for the shares and uh, then taking the shares back up to 4 pence plus after that. The good point here, I suppose, is that uh, we can clear 4 pence, uh, say, by the end of this week. Uh, there isn't really much chart resistance until about 6 or 7 pence, which was uh, support on the, on the way down. So that really does look like an encouraging situation, uh, especially while we remain above that 3.4 pence uh, resistance in the first instance. Uh, next up is FastJet, which has been a, a difficult stock for its uh, supporters over the recent past, but uh, looks like um, uh, it's consolidating well at the moment. Uh, support uh, coming in notionally at the 20-day moving average of 102 pence, and uh, really if we can break through this uh, combination of the 50-day and 200-day moving averages just around the 115 pence level over the next couple of sessions, it would appear that we've got a decent chance of retesting uh, 150 plus, which was the initial resistance of uh, 2015 to date so higher support there after the bear trap uh, below initial the initial april floor uh it does look like an encouraging situation uh jubilee platinum a blast from the past in terms of uh, uh stock that a lot, there was a, a lot of private investor interest in broken back above the 15 200 day moving averages over the past uh, few sessions and as long as we're above the 50-day line, the blue line at 1.44 pence, one would be looking for uh, a retest of 2 pence plus over the next uh, four to six weeks. Any uh, weakness in the meantime towards the 50-day line regarded as a buying opportunity uh, for the shares. Uh, finally, uh, Mercom uh, Oil uh, Sands uh, situation, which is looking like it may be bottoming out. Um, we have uh, the, the weekly close above the uh, 50 day moving average at 4.25 pence and that's uh, probably the notional uh, area to buy down to in the in the uh, first instance and really only back below the floor of this channel from uh, january and 3.83 pence which is the 20 day moving average regarded as uh, really slowing the shares down at this point if you're cautious on the stock maybe wait for 5.5 pence to be broken that was the uh, april resistance and also resistance in march uh, initial target 6.58 uh, pence at the 200 day moving average and hoping for uh, nine or even 10 pence over the next couple of months at the top of the rising 2015 price channel. Uh, more updates at Zach's Traders Cafe if you're interested in stocks like this and uh, a new update tomorrow.